Hello, my name is Madalina. Welcome to another Wildrin tutorial. Today we are going to test a light sensor and a temperature sensor and show their values in a chart and in a thermometer. The Raspberry Pi can't read analog pins. So, in order to see their values, we will have to use either an Arduino board to which we connect a groove shield or to connect to our Raspberry Pi a groove pie. But first, let's start with the Arduino. The first step is to connect the Arduino to the computer. Start the Arduino interface. Go to File, search for Examples. Then Fermata. Standard Fermata. And upload it. After it uploads, we can disconnect it and connect it to our Raspberry Pi. Now let's connect the sensors. One of the sensors will go into the analog pin number zero. The other one into the analog pin number one. Just like so. Let's write the codes for the two sensors. We create a new project that we call Arduino in Visual Programming and click Submit. We enter the project and delete the unneeded block. What we do first is go for Embedded Choose Arduino that we are using, drag the block that says Start Arduino on Port. And now let's get the port. The first part of the port is slash dev from devices and slash. The last part of the port we will find in shell. So we go to the left side of the page and click Open Shell. We click on our board and type the M E S G. Click enter and copy what we find here. This is our port. We exit the shell. and print the port. Now that we have the port, we can read the values sent by the sensors. Let's start with the temperature sensor. If we go to Groove and look for the temperature sensor, we will find the block that says get temperature from. Instead of the block with the number 1000, we want to read the analog pin A1. For that, we go again to Embedded, search for Arduino, and here we have the block that says read analog pin. Instead of zero, we put one, because there's where we have our sensor. We want to make a thermometer, so we will send a signal. We go to Signals, Send Signal with the name Temp, that has the value given by the analog pin 1. But we want this to repeat, so we get real-time values. So we go to Program, Loops, 
and repeat every one second. Only that we will replace one by 100 milliseconds. Now let's create a thermometer. We go to dashboard, choose a thermometer, go to its settings and replace signal 1 with the name that we gave to the signal, which was temp. In our main program, we can do the same for the light sensor. Again, we will send a signal. That has the name light. The value this time is the analog read from the pin 0 because we connected the light sensor to the analog pin 0. We go again in the dashboard, choose one of the charts, go to its settings and change the name to light. Now that we have the thermometer and the chart, we can run the program. We wait for it to load. And then we can play with the sensors. We can see that now the temperature is 28 degrees. If we cover the sensor, the temperature rises. Now, if we cover the light sensor, the light will be down. If you have a groove pie, you can use that instead of the groove shield. We can disconnect the Arduino. Use a piece of paper and fit the groove pie in. We plug the sensors just like we did with the Arduino. We use the light sensor on pin A0 and the temperature sensor on the pin A1. Now we have the sensors connected to a Raspberry Pi using the Groove Pi. We put the sheet of paper between the board and the Groove Pi because we wanted to avoid a short circuit due to the fact that we have a different model of a Raspberry Pi. Now going back to the code. We don't need the Arduino part anymore. Nor these locks. All we need to do is go to Groove, search for the temperature sensor, drag the first block that says get temperature from pin A1. This is where we connected the temperature sensor. And light sensor, get light from pin A0. We are still sending the information to the thermometer and the chart. Now we run the project, wait for it to load, and see the values. The temperature is now 29 degrees. If I put my hand on the sensor, the temperature will rise. If I do the same with the light sensor, 
its value will now be lower. This was all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel.